Hey, how's it going guys? Wanafo here, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the newest scripts for Combat Warriors. So these are all the scripts right here, as you can see, and if you're looking for them, the links will be in the description. So I actually have the four best scripts here, along with an infinite credit script, and I'm going to show you how to use that one at the end of this video. But for now, I'll showcase Nova.xyz. This script was just updated a few days ago. It has kill aura, auto parry, and anti parry, along with tons of other player settings. So for example, like an infinite jump, I take no fall damage, stuff like that, you get the idea. You can also take no damage from utility, even like nukes and bombs. So let's go kill some people with it. I have right now on just the kill aura, which is of course going to kill people when I get near them. So as you can see right here, boom. This guy dies when I just stand next to him. That guy dies. You can of course increase or decrease this distance to make it look more legit or less legit. So here we go. Walk over there, he's dead. Walk over here, this guy's dead. Everyone just dies pretty much unless you get blown up, of course. This is the auto parry working as you can see. You can also turn on auto equip, which means every single time that you spawn in it's going to equip your sickle. As you can see that guy got auto parried. And you also have an anti-parry, so you're never going to get stunned yourself. As you guys know, usually when you're fighting someone, they're going to parry you. There, you. there we go right there. You can see it instantly respawns me. You can see this normal day in Ohio going on over here. So that guy just said, you got all these explosions. I don't know, this server is huge. I might rejoin a new one, but you guys get the idea. It's pretty fun to see this in this server specifically because I can just run around the map getting a ton of kills. Yeah, I got 47 kills in like three minutes with this is pretty much all you got to do is walk over here for example to this guy stand next to him he's using actually my same gun and skin okay let's walk over here basically all you have to do is get close to them and then they're gonna die got this guy yeah as long as they don't run away you can kill them every single time boom actually we got the double team right there the double kill but yeah so pretty cool stuff there. I'm not going to showcase too much on this script because I think I've done some showcases in the past. But all the updated features, for example, like the kill aura custom distance are pretty cool. So let me show you what that does. If I turn the distance down to about 140 and I click on custom kill aura distance, get a couple seconds to load. Okay, so I think there might be too many people in this game, but basically what this does is it attaches your sickle or whatever... Um, item you have to someone who's within that area for example if i set this to 600 studs it's going to attach it to a random person who's within 600 studs of me and it'll start killing them you can of course also do that with stomping so you can finish people off like that here's your esp i usually like to just keep health on because most of the maps in this game are pretty opened up so you don't really need to see where people are but yeah this just helps you figure out how much health people have um, scrolling down over here, of course I already showed you guys this, but you have no fall damage, which is pretty self-explanatory. No ragdoll, pretty self-explanatory. Or actually it's not too self-explanatory, self let me show you it right here. If I reset, see, or not in that stage, but basically whenever I get knocked down, if someone can kill me over here. Okay, so it looks like this guy's trying to kill me here, and now as you can see, I can fly up in the air, just run around the map, pretty- oh my god, so many nukes everywhere. But yeah. You get the idea, no fall damage, no ragdoll, pretty good stuff there. Of course, you also have your infinite stamina, um, infinite jump, all that type of stuff. You're going to have no limitations on yourself when you're moving around. You can actually fly around the map, you can spam the kill feed with random stuff. Um, give yourself some free emotes, that's pretty cool. I could hide my name if I don't want people to see who I am. Um, right here, you also have a config, so you can save your settings for whenever you rejoin the game. Yeah, this is kind of getting annoying with all these things. I don't know how much Robux they're spending on that. Like a thousand every single time. But luckily we won't be having that for another like two minutes. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff here. Again, this is Nova.xyz. It's going to be in the first link in the description. Okay, the next script I'm going to show you is this one right here, which is called, I think, Hydra Hub V2 or Hyper Hub V2. Either way, you're going to know it because it says Alpha in the bottom left. Here's your Rage tab, which is basically the same thing as the um, Rage tab on here. You have stuff like your emotes unlocking, auto parry, just all the stuff that you do if you're trying to just get a bunch of kills, like infinite stamina, no fall damage, all this type of stuff. But the main thing you're going to want to use is the auto parry. 
The auto parry on this script I think is actually a lot better than Nobada XYZ, but they don't let you customize it. So by default, it looks really, really blatant. Everybody can easily tell that you're using auto parry. So there's nothing to really change it there. It's for example, on this one, you have your auto parry um, chance. So you can actually change this down to like 30%, which is a little bit more reasonable, 30% or even like 50%. Because then when someone's 1v1ing you and they notice that they can actually parry you, like if they 50% of the time they'll hit you, 50% of the time they won't. No one's going to report you for that. Even like any good player could have like a better ratio than that. But yeah, pretty cool stuff on this script. If I move on now to the player tab, as you can see, as you can see, they have some stuff like kill say, which is pretty fun to use. If you go over here, let me show you what that does over here. Kill this guy on oh, there we go. And it should say something. There we go. Don't even bother insulting me. <laughs> pretty much just an auto toxic thing. You just do this. Walk over here, kill this guy. Oh, it's, oh, there we go. I didn't have my thing equipped. There we go. What does it say? Uh, you ever have problems with light users parrying your DS? Okay, I guess. It's actually kind of cool. They have some specific insults. So it notices that I'm using a light weapon and he's using a DS. That's what's that? <laughs> okay, yeah. So you get the idea with this. I think all the scripts do have a kill say on it because it's really fun to use. Oh yeah, this script over here, let me show you this one first. It actually has some pretty cool stuff on it. So let's just pick a random player. Do one of the guys who's been bombing it. Um, This guy right here, Ezekiel. Let's type in his name here. Oh, display name. So his display name is Tez. So let's type that there and then click on auto farm. As you can see, if I go like this. It's going to be circling around him. And if I hold out my sickle, He's going to start taking damage. Should get the kill. I'm not sure exactly how this is working, but I mean, there it is. I don't know if I'm doing any damage to him. Maybe I have to like adjust something in the settings. You have some stuff over there, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. The auto farm is definitely just like for trolling a specific person. It's not like that useful because it's only one person. Oh my God, with these bombs. The script actually here here has a god mode, so if I turn that on now, I should be able to walk around just like this and, and shouldn't really die from anything. Let's see if I die. Yeah, so every time someone hits you, you're just going to get pushed back pretty far. Look like I'm going to die. Yeah, it's like pushing them away from me. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe it's not. Okay, yeah, that definitely is a god mode. I don't know how that worked, but it did. Let's see if I can still kill people with this. Okay, never mind. So it's not a full god mode. It's still really, really fun to play around with. And here's your anti-aim, which is something everyone needs now with all the crossbow spammers. This is going to prevent people from hitting you from far away. Also, anti-aim bot, of course. Here's your ESP. You could change the theme to like a more rainbow changing border thing. Here's their Discord server. Yeah, credits to the owners of all three of these scripts. Really, really good GYs here. And then the final one is Project Hook, which is like a really simple, really easy to use. Let me disable all these other things. Okay, so everything on these other GYs now is disabled. So I'm going to show you all the stuff on this one. You have your disable bear trap, um, disable fire smoke, disable smoke, pretty much just disabling everything and that does damage to you. So you have this stuff, you have your anti-ragdoll, some decent stuff over here. Here is your you know, fall damage, infinite stamina. And yeah, so here's basically all the things on this script that you can do for your player. So you can jump around here, jump pretty high, flying around the map, taking no damage. It's actually a decent speed too, you wouldn't really have to go any faster than that. Because well, everything above the normal amount, people will start to notice that you're cheating. You also have a combat tab right here for kill aura and auto parry just like that pretty nice not gonna lie this script over here is pretty much all you need if you're just trying to like mess around with people not trying to look too legit you're just trying to kill people there we go i'm actually getting a lot more kills with this than i am with the other one it could just be a coincidence yeah here we go pretty pretty good kills there i think i got like that like probably like 10. You also have your ESP so I can do a name tag. I, I kind of like the name tag ESP. 
but not in this game, it's too many people. Here's your box ESP, pretty nice too. And of course also do tracers, but in this game where there's a lot of people, it's not really going to look too pretty, you just have a bunch of lines on your screen. Here's your colors, and then here's the credits tab, so if you want to join their discord server, or not their discord server, the same server, you can click this and it's going to rejoin. So yeah, pretty nice scripts here, but now I'm going to show you guys how you can use the infinite credits script. Okay, so this is the, the script right here. As you can see, there's tons of stuff on here that you're going to have to change. So it says, please read the above before using. Another thing you're going to need is this tool right here called Multiple Game Instance. And don't worry, it's not that hard to get. I'm just going to leave a link in the description. Or maybe I'll just leave it with the paste bin. But yeah, so here's this. You have your script and then you have the Multiple Game Instance. And make sure you close Roblox before you mess around with any of this. So first close Roblox, then open up Multiple Game Instance. And here's where you're going to type in your main account's name. So my other account for this game actually got banned after the owner saw my video. But yeah, you guys can type in your name here. I'm not going to like actually show you how it works. Because well, I kind of can't unless I logged out of a bunch of accounts. But you have this here. For example, mine is ZZYX. There we go. Type in your main account. This is going to be the account that gets the points. So whatever account you're trying to get some credits on or get some EXP on, you use this one. You can turn on the low quality mode, which I definitely recommend you keep this on at all times because who really cares what the graphics looks like if it makes your um, thing faster. Enable or disable in-game audio. I, left, I like to keep this off because, I mean, who wants audio? Here's the damage. Just keep this as default unless you want to do like 115, for example, but I think 105 is pretty fast. Of course, when you guys are doing this, you can optimize it to your liking. Here's leave if staff join. Always leave this on. Because if someone sees you, basically what this does is it puts you like out of the map and then starts killing your alt account over and over again. If people are noticing that you're getting kills when you aren't like actually in the map, they might report you. But yeah, here's where you're going to type in all of your different alt account names. If you're wondering what this tool does, it basically lets you put any amount of Roblox instances open at once. You can just log in to a bunch of different accounts and then join the same game with it. So there you go. You could do like a lot more. You can add these, you can remove them. You could just do one alt account if you want to. I think like the more you do, the faster it's going to be up until a certain point where it just gets to be like too much. But yeah, you type in your alt account name here. For example, let's do my name was Roblox. There you go. Uh, Roblox123 layer. So you can like tell that this is a username. And then once you type that in there, all you want to do is join the game with your main account. And then also join the game with your alt account. So keep this open the whole time. And then once you join the game with both of those accounts, it's going to tell which one is which. So just execute the script. Hopefully it'll execute on both of the games. If it doesn't, just join the game execute it, join the game again, execute it again, and you're going to get teleported out of the map and it's going to start killing your alt account for you. So this is actually a script made by Project Hook, which is a pretty good GUI. I already showed you guys that, but yeah, so a really good script here. You can actually get like thousands and thousands of credits just like within an hour. And then of course, as you guys know, when you get credits, you can exchange them for Aether and then get some shop items and stuff like that progress through the game and get some like good weapons and stuff but yeah this script is pretty nice i thought i'd just show you guys it at the end of the video how to use it and yeah so hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you can and as always peace